I can tell you that every single person, uh, every single Republican for sure, is committed to seeing student success. And my time here in the legislature has really been focused on what are we doing to make sure we're moving the dial for these students, that we want them to come out of high school especially prepared to either take on a job, go to that next level of education, or to pursue a career in technical apprenticeship. Uh, that's really an important piece. And I think I can tell you is that we're all committed to those student successes. We care very deeply about student successes. And I would say that is the one uh, real defining thing for Republicans is that we want to make sure what we do in education meets the needs of students and allows those students to be successful at the end of their K-12 experience. So some of the top uh, policy topics in our committee uh, really are evolving around uh, career and technical education. One of my big focuses uh, as we move bills around career and technical education is that we're also making sure that we are giving the, the schools the resources to effectively implement a really comprehensive career and technical education curriculum. I also want to focus on competency-based education, meaning I want children to have ways to express their competencies and uh, through an assessment process that isn't just a test. Not every student is successful in sitting down and taking a written test, but maybe those same students could stand up in front of their class and talk about what they've learned and explain in a way that exhibits those educational priorities that that teacher wanted them to accomplish. Really one of the most exciting things for me in this uh, session is the fact that I get to serve on both education, the policy side, and appropriations, the money side. So I really get to see uh, firsthand what the policies, the policies, how the policies we're creating uh, impact the state's general fund budget. And, you know, that's not something we always get to discuss uh, in a policy committee is what are the fiscal impacts? So now I have a complete picture of education policy as it relates to both the policy and the spending. We've spent an exorbitant amount of time on McCleary and the McCleary decision trying to figure out uh, what the broad impacts are of that particular bill, House Bill 2242. Our districts are still struggling to understand all the nuances and all the idiosyncrasies within that bill. And so I've spent a large chunk of my time as the ranking member trying to work with these districts across the state so that we make sure they're, they're correctly categorizing their dollars, correctly utilizing the dollars that the state um, has given them, and that these the levy cap, for instance, is still working. So that's a really important element to continue to talk about. Do I think that everything we did in McCleary is perfect? No. Do I think we have a responsibility as legislators to continue adjusting our legislative policy if something isn't working? Yes. And that's what I'm committed to doing through McCleary and through our conversations around education.